What's up? What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Today we will be reviewing the Flag Edition. Uh, it came out about two years ago now, I believe, somewhat around that timeline. But I just want to go over some of the pieces that I have. This is a very um, sought after edition. Um, it's been a while since it came out. It came out, I think, during the the late 80s, early 90s, around that parts. But um, yeah, so let's get into it. First and foremost, um, whenever you get grab an edition, uh, limited edition, you want to see if they got the crown, which is the hat. Um, this particular hat, the crown, um, very, the white, and it also comes in the blue bib, but I didn't chance it. I didn't have a chance to get that, but also it has the leather in the back. Um, they may have some of these still in certain polo outlets. I'm not particularly sure, but, um, yeah, I grabbed it. First thing I grabbed was the hat to match, um, the edition that I have with this, um, particular limited edition on the polo. Um, I slipped on this one, but I went back and I got it, but I'll let you know it's a funny story behind this. Also, uh, this is the collar shirt polo flag edition um the colors are very nice deep navy blue with the white stripes um a funny thing about this particular shirt is i went in just a normal day um looking at the clearance racks got this for nine bucks on the clearance rack i'm telling everybody that the clearance rack can be your friend if you iron <clears throat> if you're iron a certain item just give it time. Give it time and eventually it's gonna go on sale. Especially if not if nobody's buying it, it's gonna go on sale. Um, this is the only polo shirt I got in the flag edition, like I said before, um, stitching. So it's gonna last a while. And I get it. Being a being a, um guy was going back on a um comment that he had made about the uh I guess I I call it stickers, but he called it something else, but he's right, you know. I just like what I like, and, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, you know. And just I just prefer quality over, you know, something that's right there and claim it's going to be hot. But anyway, um, also with this particular edition, it came out in the rugby, the sweaters, the jacket, the hoodies. Um, but they even had some shorts. I didn't grab the shorts. I seen the shorts. I, I really wasn't digging them like that, so I left them where they was left them where it was at. But <clears throat> this is the the sweater, very dope piece, red, white, and blue. You know, got the flags, of course, the stitched in. Um, very clean item. Um, you can wear this, matter of fact, all year long if you choose to. Just depends on how you rock it and what climate you stay in. Um. Like I said before, this is a very dope piece. This, like I said, it's a limited edition, a very sought after um, edition as far as Ralph Lauren. Um, but this particular limited edition, I'm talking about, it was selling out as soon as it hit. Like, it didn't matter, it was selling out. And people may be still looking for this particular uh, limited edition Ralph Lauren. But anyway, like I said before, the stitching is good, quality is good. Um, had to wait on this particular piece because, of course, I'm not going to pay retail for certain items. But even though I wanted this um, particular edition, I waited and I waited and then I went back and I got it. So everything is everything on that. Um, next will be the uh, the rugby. A lot of people go, uh, try to get back into the rugby's. The rugby game is going going up. Ralph Lauren may need to think twice and bring this one back, but um, yeah, this is the rugby that goes along with the addition. Um, very clean, you know. Material quality is very thick. Collars are red, which is great. Give a little more pop to as far as the um, the the rugby shirt. As you can tell, still has stitches. You know, um. It's it's a very um how can I put it? Um 
it's 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 a little flashy. A little bit, not too much. It's a little bit flashy, you know, because of the big embroidery as far as on the particular item at hand. Either the sweaters, the shirts, you know, the polos got the little got the little polo um flags on the side. So that's not doing too much, but yeah, it's still it's a it's a it's a limited edition. Also, it's a vintage piece that came back during the late eighties. So yeah. Back then, you know what I'm saying, it was all about about repping, of course. And Ralph Lauren, he was heavy into repping his um his crest back then, still is in some some ways, but when he brought back this limited edition, um, yeah. So I just went ahead and copped everything I could as far as um hoodies and the hoodies and the jacket and the uh, polo. I really didn't care about the pants like that. I'm not a big, um, let's see, I guess, I don't know what you want to call them. You know, the, the sweatpants cut off? I, I just don't do that. Next um, is the famous hoodie, flag edition. Love the color, the blue and red with the flag. It's just, it's an, immac it's an immaculate combo, if you ask myself. Um... Ralph did his thing on this particular hoodie. I like the colors. Classic Ralph Lauren when you talk about the reds and the blues together. Great combination. Um, yeah, it's a very thick hoodie. So if you wear it, maybe want to wear it in the fall or winter time. Put that over, you know, put the jacket over it or rock it with a vest or something. Something to add a little bit of pop to your wardrobe or not wardrobe, but your outfit of the day. Or whatever the case may be. With this particular hoodie, you have the whites and the blues. Uh, very dope hoodie, if I say so myself. Very uh, to me, it's very nautical, a nautical theme. You know, some of you wear out on a boat. You know, with your polo hat and your, you know, your own um, water shoes or whatever have you. Um, very dope item. I like. It. The blues, the navies, and the whites, of course, are always going to be hitting. You know, sunlight hit it. It's always going to be your eye catcher. So, yeah. Um, I had this. I had these for a hot little minute now. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the uh, the jackets, as far as all Ralph Lauren uh, limited edition collections, you're going to have to pay for it. Just put it out there. If you wait on it, you're going to have to pay for it. If it, if there's nobody buying them and you wait for it, say, yeah, jump on it. But nine times out of ten, you have to pay uh, retail for it. But with this particular uh, limited edition, I had to wait out because I wasn't going to pay the uh, two, I think it was 250 or $300 price tag they put on the jacket. So what I did, I um I waited. And it finally went on sale. But see, the thing about it is, when it went on sale, of course, it hit the clearance racks. And you had to be, like, on top of it as soon as it hit the clearance racks. And then on top of that, I think I got either 25% or 30% off total purchase. So, I had to jump on it. But I had been watching and been watching. I had to jump, go back and get it. But <clears throat> the famous uh, jean jacket with the flag on the back. This particular jacket is very light. It's not heavy at all. Um, if you know anything about my bros up north, you know, they rock all low back in the day. You know, still do. You know what I'm saying? Two L's up. But, uh, yeah, low lifes, New York, Brooklyn. You know, of course, Ralphie Kids. But this particular item is um, dope, you know what I'm saying? Because it's it's not heavy enough. You only got to wear it during a certain season. But you can wear it um, spring, summer, fall, whenever you want to. You can wear it with a white T-shirt and rock out with it. With a, um, how I would rock it, I could see myself rocking it with maybe a white polo T-shirt with a brown bucket with this jacket on. Maybe some skip song with some khaki shorts. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. That's how I would rock it. With a nice little watch on. Mind of my business. But yeah. 
But this particular item, like I said before, is very light. It has the flag encrusted on the side of it. And it has the elastic on the side somewhat. But as far as as far as quality wise, it's very quality as far as this material and what you're buying at this particular price point. Understand it. Understand the items that you buy, you add into your wardrobe. It suits you. You know, a lot of people seem to purchase certain items or whatever the case may be that suits everybody else outside of themselves. Do you make you happy and don't worry about anybody else? So that ends the um, my flag my flag collection um, with my mannequin. As you can tell, this is a puffer Ralph Lauren vest with a vintage sweater around eighty eight. 89 sweater very thick in material with a white oxford up under it um the focal point of this outfit is going to be the sweater because the sweater is so immaculate and you will not see too many of these sweaters out there like that but also when i know when i wear this particular sweater it has to be a certain temperature outside in order for me to rock it because this sweater is going to keep me warm so yeah so with that being said I appreciate every each and one of you coming to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Um, thank you and have a blessed day. And uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I hope you and your someone have a very safe and uh, enjoyable evening.